Today, we're gonna be editing videos just like Ali Abdal using a free editing software, CopCat. Ali has that cool and engaging video editing style and probably a team of a few editors that are doing all of that in After Effects and Premiere Pro. But the question is, can we ourselves do that in the free editing software like CopCat? Well, I think we can give it a try and see how close we can get. First of all, let's try to figure out which Ali's videos we want to replicate. I stumbled across two of his shorts that I think will be fun to make. The first one is where he talks about the success in a young age and relates to the famous influencer Iman Gaji. And the second one is about best-selling author of the 4-hour workweek Tim Ferriss. Now let's waste no more time and see if we can make something similar. First of all, we need some footage to work with, so I set up a camera and quickly recorded this video of myself. Now as we have the footage for this video, let's move to the computer and find the right assets we can use. So when I open the first Elise video we're trying to recreate, I see some type of cardboard background appearing right here. The next asset we'll need, I see Iman Gaji's PNG right here. And the last thing is dollar bills. So let's go to Google and try to find all of that. For the asset number one, I'm just gonna type cardboard background. It honestly doesn't matter that much, but I think this one will work. So I'm just gonna save the image. And now let's look for Iman Gaji. So I'll just type Iman Gaji. And here's a quick trick. We need Iman Gaji's PNG basically without a background. So if you know how to use Photoshop, you can do it there. But if you don't, let me show you the website that can completely change the game for you. I'm gonna take whatever photo of Iman Gaji that we want to use. This one will work great. I'm just gonna copy the image. And now I'm just gonna open the website that is called photoroom.com tools background remover. I'll just paste my image into here and download it in the standard resolution. It removed the background within seconds and now you have a great PNG to use. When it comes to dollar bills, I'll just say dollar png go to images and just take whatever works now as we have all our assets let's open the copcat and get to the fun part we're gonna create a new project and we're gonna upload everything we have into our project i'll just have this video of ali here for the reference and the first thing that happens as you can see ali kind of slides down the background changes to the cardboard background of a reddish color so let's try to recreate this thing first let's take a clip of me and drag it into the timeline first thing we want to do is we want to separate myself from the background so we can change the background to the different cardboard one we're gonna duplicate the video to a different layer go to the cutout section on the top right and just click auto cutout how do you know that your video is cut out? Basically, you can hide the first layer and you will see that there's no background. So that's something we can work with. Let's get all the volume down on the top clip and insert that cardboard background in the layer between the ones we already have. I'm just gonna rotate it 90 degrees and stretch through the entire screen. Sometimes, even though the layers are correct, CapCut will put this one on top. So how to fix it? You just go down right here to the settings and choose layer one. We're just gonna go to the opacity, set one of the keyframes right here and then go a few keyframes forward and decrease the opacity to zero. Let's see how it looks now. So as you see, we have that smooth animation of fade in cardboard background that changes our current background. The only thing though, Ali had that kind of reddish background. So what we can do is go to filters, just literally type red and let's see what we have here. We have this thing, maybe if we apply this red to the background, let's see how it looks. I think something like this is pretty similar to what Ali has. We don't need to be perfect, but that will work this time. What we have to do now is slide myself down as the background appears. So we're gonna do the same thing with the keyframes. We're gonna add one keyframe right here when the background just started to appear. We're gonna select the clip of me and add a keyframe on the position and size, so for everything. We're gonna move few keyframes forward when the background is fully appeared and we're gonna drag myself down. Let's see how it looks right now. I think it looks great. The only thing, it's a little harsh. So how you can smooth this animation is to right click on the clip, show keyframes animation, and it all looks complicated, but the only thing you need to do is to show the keyframe path right here, show keyframe graphs. This one is straight, we didn't need to change anything here. But the graph for Y, we can click on the keyframe and select auto curve. It will make our curve a little smoother and make this animation a little smoother. Let's see how it looks now. As you see, it doesn't stop full speed now and it kind of slows down a bit before it stops. What we have to do now is go back to our media and insert the image of Iman Gaji somewhere in between right here. He's gonna be appearing behind my back, so probably at this point of the video, I would make him the same size as I am. And basically now we're gonna go to layers and place him behind me, just like this. Now let's cut this layer to our cursor line and animate the Iman Gaji the same way we animated anything else. Let's see how it looks. I think it looks great. We can do the same trick right here. 
So he basically have Iman Gaji popping up behind his back and now he moves himself completely out of the frame and replaces himself with Iman. So let's do the same thing. We're gonna set another keyframe on the layer that shows me. We're gonna move few frames forward and move them completely out of the frame, just like this. And literally during the same moments, we're gonna animate Iman. So we're gonna set one keyframe and when I'm sliding out, we're gonna set another keyframe so he can replace me. And we're gonna actually make him a bit bigger. So we need to scale him up just a tiny bit and do something like this. Let's see how it looks. It's a little too fast, so we can stretch the keyframes just a bit. And then we're gonna open the position and scale keyframes that we already have, open the Y and basically do the auto curve as well. Let's see what we have up to this point. I think it looks pretty good, but there's another thing Ali does to animate those elements a little bit. If you look closely to Ali's video, you will see that Iman Gaji moves a little bit from side to side, and the same with the dollar bills behind him, like that's kind of that moving from side to side, you know? And there's actually a cool effect in CapCut that can help us to do that. So you just need to select Iman Gaji's layer, go to Effects tab, and there's gonna be an effect that is called Play Pendium. Then you can just drag it to a clip, and it cuts out a bit of his head as you can see. So we can reduce the strength kind of something like this, reduce the twist a little bit and increase the sharpen to make this image kind of a little sharper. Let's see what it looks like. As you see, Iman now moves from side to side and makes that little wiggle with his head. So that's exactly the effect we wanted to achieve. And now we just need to animate and place the dollar bills behind Iman's head. We're gonna find the moment when I'm talking about dollars. So it's exactly right here. And I'm gonna go to media, find the dollar bill that we downloaded earlier and place it underneath the Iman's layer, something like this. I can make it a bit longer. And as you can see, it's still in front of his face. So we'll go to layer and just change the layer to whatever we need. Now we just need to rotate it a bit. So probably something like this. And let's set another keyframe. So it kind of pops up from his back to right here. I'm gonna place it behind his back first and set the position and size keyframe, move a little frames forward and just move it up here. Let's see how it looks. I think it looks great. And here's another problem. See, the dollar is kind of still now. Iman moves, the dollar doesn't move and it looks a little bit weird. So let's animate it using the same effect. We're gonna go to effects, play pendium and just drag and drop it right here. Reduce the twist, increase the sharpen and maybe reduce the strength a little bit. Let's see what it looks like now. I think that's exactly what we've been looking for. And now let's duplicate the dollar bill because we want to have all four of them. I'm just gonna duplicate the layer, place it right here. The only problem though, the keyframes we have, they are the same as the last one. So let's set the new keyframes. Basically, I'm gonna drag it and rotate it something like this. And then I'll move to the second keyframe and I'll place it right here where it belongs. I just need to change the layer order. Let's see how it looks. I think that's great. Basically, you can do the same with two more dollars. I'm gonna do it now really quick. All right, I think we're all good. And the only thing we're missing now is the captions. Let's open Ali's video. And he has those kind of black captions inside of the white rounded frame. CapCut has a great feature to auto-generate captions. You just need to click text, go to auto captions and click create. All right, what we can do now, I know that Ali uses poppins, so we can just look for the poppins font something like this yep we want to remove that black border so we're gonna click no and we're gonna change the color to i think alice is kind of like darkish or something like this and now we're gonna add the background we're gonna make it color white and we're gonna round the corners a little bit so it's rounded rectangle as i look through the clip i think the captions are done and we have everything we need now let's see what it turned out into and compare alice original clip to our clip so let's play Alice first. Today we hear a lot about people who reach success in their 20s, but the average... And now it's time for our clip. We're gonna be using Iman Gaji and the dollar stopping up behind his head. I think we did a very decent job. So let's try a second clip and apply the knowledge that we already have. First of all, we're gonna do the same thing. Let's watch Alice short and find the S's that we are missing. So we are missing a different background. It's kind of like dark stone background. We're missing Tim Ferriss PNG and then we're also missing a font that has a white border. So let's go to Google. I'm just gonna type Tim Ferriss right here. I think something like this will work great. Let's screenshot it. And as you know, we're gonna open the instant background. Just press Ctrl V and see how it does it magic. We're gonna download the standard resolution. Now let's find the different background. So it's black 
tone background, something like this probably. I think something like this will work great. And the last thing we're missing is that type of font with kind of like every letter being surrounded by a white square frame. So I already looked it up. I just typed font with square border and round letters. I went to this website and something like this, Joe Jack Gout fonts look very similar to what Ali has. So I just downloaded it and we're gonna use this one. One more time, let's open the CapCut, click on new project and drag everything we have into the new project. We're gonna start with adding my clip to the timeline and we don't need to actually cut myself out because if we look at Ali's video right here, he just have the different background that kind of slides from the left to the right and at the same time Tim Ferriss's head appears from the bottom. So we're gonna add the background and just stretch it over. I'll just flip it so it's kind of negative 90 and just stretch it out entire frame size. I'll add Tim Ferriss right here as well to we'll see in a second what we're gonna do with it. I'll hide Tim Ferriss layer and let's deal with the background first. As you hear the audio, this is a second example of us using Tim Ferriss head. So I want to get the background into picture right before I say using Tim Ferriss head. I'll just animate the background the same way we were doing this before. Add a keyframe, move few frames forward and just drag it from the left. Right, we animated our background. The only thing that I doesn't like is that kind of sharp border as you can see right here. And here's a simple trick which you can do about this. You can go to mask section, add a horizontal mask, just drag it a little bit like this. And now you just can add some feather and it will smooth this border as you can see. Let's see how it looks now. Of us using Tim way better and at the same time as you remember we want to animate Tim Ferriss head to pop up from the bottom and I'm gonna set one keyframe right here and then we'll move him out and here's gonna be the second keyframe something like this. So we're gonna move, go back to the first keyframe and move him out of the image. Let's see how it looks. Of us using Tim. It's a little sharp so we can stretch it out a little bit then we can go to show keyframe animations and do the same things we were doing with the previous video. We're gonna auto curve and auto curve here. I think we have some X animations as well, so we're gonna do the absolute same thing. Now that animation of Tim Ferriss is a little bit smoother as you can see, so we achieved the result that we wanted. So let's open Ali's video and see how he does it. Basically it has a Lee and then the text, as you can see there's a cool glow that we're gonna do as well and there's a cool animation, kind of typing animation of the text. So right here I'm saying then some text on the top and then some text on the top. So I'm gonna go to text section, click on default text, drag it right here and move it a little bit over Tim Ferriss head. Some text on the Top. I'll make it a little bit bigger. What we can do now is to select fancier font. I think maybe Avenir will work, Avenir next. And now I want to add that cool glow first of all. We're gonna go down and there's little like glow effect. Just click on it. This is obviously too much and this is pro. We want to switch to a free version. Something like this will work great, but I mean, you can play with it. You can make it a little bit more brighter and increase the range and decrease the range. I'll leave it like this. Now we're just gonna go to the animation tab and there's a type one, type two animations. I think this will be something similar to what Ali uses. It's a little too fast, so I'm gonna increase the duration probably to like one second. Some text on the top. Oh, that's exactly what we are looking for. Only other thing, if we look through Ali Abdal's video, we'll see that head movement for Tim Ferriss and we'll see that a little movement for the text. We already did it in the previous video, so let's do the same thing. We're gonna go to effects and we'll choose play pendulum and add it to Tim Ferriss. Basically it's a little too much, we're gonna decrease the decrease the strength, decrease the twist a little. Let's see how it looks. Using Tim Ferriss head and then some... Yeah, it adds a little that wobbly effect, so I think it's great. Now we just need to add it to the text you cannot add the effect straight on text, so there's a way around it. We can right click on a text, create compound clip out of it, and now we can add the effect to the compound clip. Again, it's too much, we're gonna decrease the strength and let's see what we have. Head and then some text on the top. Now we have that cool kind of moving effect just like in the previous video and we're getting close to be done. Our next step would be to get Tim Ferriss out of the picture and get the text out of the picture. Then we're gonna create that cool kind of text effect right here and that will add a little text that looks similar to Ali Abdal. So let's set a keyframe on a text somewhere here. We're gonna go to position and scale and then just move a few keyframes forward and just move it out of the picture. And we're gonna do the same with Tim Ferriss. After we move those guys out, let's add a little text. That we recreated the short form content. Recreated the short form content, that's what I'm saying. So let's do the same thing. I'm gonna add default text and I'm gonna type recreated the short form 
content. I'm gonna change the font to that Jack font that we downloaded previously. It's job Jack right here. It's a little too close to each other. So what I can do is increase the distance in the line to probably something like this and make it a little bit bigger. And I'm gonna add the same animations we did previously, type two, just and just make it a bit longer, probably like two seconds. You can just see that. So you can just see that we recreated the short form content. Great. I'm gonna turn it into compound clip and add that cool play pendium effect to animate a little bit. Decrease the strength and decrease the twist to probably to zero. So you can just see that we recreated the short form content just like Ali Abdal. And the only other thing left is that little number one right here. And we can do it easily by going to stickers and literally just typing one. Let's see what they offer. I think this, like all of them are pretty similar. I can go with this blue one, just drag it on top, resize it a bit, place it over the top right here. The only other thing we can do is to add some cool animation to that number one. Let's look through them. Bounce in, spring, spin in one. I kind of like the spin in one, so I'm gonna keep it like this. The last thing I completely forgot to show in the first video is that we need to add some sounds to animations. So let's find the first animation right here, that kind of swoosh of the background. I have some of the sounds pre-downloaded, but you can download them from any kind of free website. We're gonna go to sounds. We have swish sound, I think that will work best. And basically I have short air puff transition. I'm just gonna drag it, drag it onto our timeline, make it a little quieter, and let's see what it looks like. Us using tip. I think that matches it great. Now let's move forward and see what other things we have. We have the typing text effect. We can actually go to audio right here in CopCat, go to sound effects, and there's typing on the keyboard right here. This is a pro effect. I have the pro version, but if we just type typing, let's see if there's any free ones. Yep, typing on the keyboard. You just drag it. We want to make it a little shorter, somewhere right here, that's where it ends. We're gonna cut it, let's see. And then some text on the top. Perfect, that's another sound effect we can use. I'll actually make it a bit longer. And the last one is that typing the long typing again. So I'm just gonna copy typing and gonna drag it all over the clip. We have that little spin for number one. What I can do, I have that kind of cool special sound gear. Let's see what it feels like. I'm gonna drag it right into timeline. Oh, you can just see that we recreate. Yep, it's kind of cool. You see that gear kind of spin motion. At this point, we are done. Now let's see what it turned out into and compare Ali's original clip to our clip. So let's play Alice first. Exercises when it comes to journaling is Tim Ferriss' fear setting exercise. And so you're asking, what is the worst thing that will happen if I do the thing that I Let's see what it turned out into compares to Alice's clip. This is a second example of us using Tim Ferriss hat and then some text on the top. So you can just see that we recreated the short form content just like Ali Abdal. And there you have it guys. While it's not 100% accurate, I think that we got pretty close. Don't forget that the quality of your short form video will kind of depend to the quality of the assets that you are using. And here's a quick professional tip to you. If you want to get a good assets, just open your Instagram, start following the best video influencers out there. And what they usually do, they usually give away some freebies, some like free packs with overlays, transitions, etc, etc. And then you usually just need to comment something and they'll send you this free pack. Over time, you're gonna, you know, generate a lot of those cool assets and you'll be able to use them in your videos and level up your video editing game. I hope this video helped you to understand a little how you can edit like Ali Abdal or do something close to that. You don't need to replicate him, then do exactly what he does, but you can develop a similar style if you like it. Thank you so much for watching it. Make sure you save it for later and subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it and it would help me a lot. I'll see you in the next one.